hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video i'm going to be showcasing hugging face's new project which is called transformer agents now for the people who do not know hugging face is a popular open source platform that provides a state-of-the-art natural language processing technologies to developers and researchers now recently they released this project today and it's basically a significant addition to its existing set of tools now the most prominent feature of transformer agent is that it eliminates the barrier of entry to machine learning and this is by utilizing as well as taking control of the hundred thousand different pre-trained hugging face models and by simply talking to the platform's transformer and diffuser agents now the transformer agents is a fully multi-modal basic feature and this basically means that you're able to work with various types of data such as text image videos audios as well as documents now this makes it incredibly versatile and it makes you handle different types of nlp tasks across various different industries now we can see in this example over here that you can give it a prompt to draw it a picture of rivers lakes and trees and you're able to generate this using the transformer agents as it talks to the model and it basically utilizes the transformer and diffuser agents to create this generative image now you can also tweak it by giving it a prompt in this case it says a f you give it another prompt that says a frozen lake and a snowy forest and you're able to transform the image you're also able to read out the image and context of the actual image and you can see that you get an audio file from this so it's quite remarkable as to what you can do with the different modalities now in today's video we're going to be focusing a little bit more about what this actual application can do as well as how we can actually utilize it we're going to be doing this by getting some of the content as well as analysis of what the project does as well as getting a better understanding of the supported models as well as the apis that are supported with this actual transformer now you can also prompt custom tools as well as prompts to actually give you a better like idea of how you can utilize it and you can also play around with it on google collab which we'll also be doing today so with that thought guys before we actually get into the video it would mean the world to me if you guys can go subscribe i have a lot of different content out there so it really mean the world to me if you guys can go check out these other videos as there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from now if you guys haven't subscribed please subscribe turn on the notification bell and please like this video and with that thought let's get right into the video so how does it actually work well basically the transformer agent is allowing you to control over a hundred thousand different pre-trained models by simply talking to them and with this project you can use natural languages to communicate with the agent and to get the performance as well as to actually execute different ranges of tasks across different modalities such as text image videos audios as well as documents now in this case you give it an instruction read out loud the content of the image and the prompt is then going to start working towards utilizing what tools will be required to actually execute this instruction and this is by giving it the tools from the actual hugging face like library and over these pre-trained models you're able to work with the agent which will use the different tools that are needed to actually give you the actual output of this instruction and from this you're using a different types of like interference apps like in this case you're using pytorch or python and from this we get the generative content and this is quite remarkable as to what you can do and this is one of the features that it, you are able to do by the ability to read as well as the ability to create images with your own words and you can describe a scene or an object which we saw in the image before and the agent will generate an image or basically in this case i'll put an audio description of what you give it and this is basically achieved by leveraging the power of generative models like gpt3 and other pre-trained models which are fine-tuned for specific image generation tasks now you're also able to do this by extracting different contents from urls as well as pdfs and the most important information that is out there by letting it utilize the different tools to read it out loud or in this particular case you're able to get an audio generation and this is useful for people who need it to go through large amounts of text quickly or have difficulties reading or executing certain tasks like this now let us focus on some of the main features that are provided with the actual transformer as we talked about this is an amazing new application and one of the main things is that it's powerful open source platform and it offers the state-of-the-art machine learning tools such as PyTorch, TensorFlow, 
as well as the JAX framework. Now, it provides APIs and tools to make it easy to download and train pre-trained models. This means that you can use models that are already trained rather than training them from scratch, which saves you so much time, resources, and actually reduces your carbon footprint. Now, the transformer supports a wide range of common tasks in different modalities, including natural language processing, computer vision, audio and multimodal applications now for a natural language processing it provides tools for like text classification includes any identity or entity recognition you're also able to question answer have language modeling summarization translation multiple choice and text generation now in terms of its computer vision you're also able to focus on offering tools for image classification you're also able to get object detection and segmentation. For audio, you're able to get an automatic speech recognition as well as an audio classification tool. Now for its multi-modal feature, as well as the application that it supports, it focuses on ta table question answers, optical character recognition, information extraction from scanned documents, as well as video classification and visual question answering. So you can get a gist of what this actual transformer APIs provide, as well as the tools that are suggested to make this framework better. Now, from the actual use cases of it between the supporting frameworks, you're able to see that there's different classifications for its machine learning use cases for like PyTorch, TensorFlow, as well as JAX. This means that you can train a model in one framework and load it with inference in another. Additionally, you're able to also export these formats like ONCs as well as TorchScript for deployment in production environments. So the documentation for Transform Agent is organized into five sections. You, the first section is the Get Started, which provides a quick tour of the library. And this will basically get you the information for and instruction for installation. The second one is the Tutorials, which shows you the different types of excellent resources for beginners. And it provides you a step-by-step -step instruction for examples, as well as helps users gain the skills that are required for the different modalities. So you can get a gist of what you can get a better idea of with the different modalities that you want to use. If you want to get a better idea of computer vision, you can click on something in this case, get a better idea and a step-by-step -step process on what you need to do to accomplish this in your actual like formation and what the actual application could be used for. Now you can also do this with different things like natural language processing, audio. So I highly recommend that you play around with this because you will get a better gist of what you can do and actually get a better idea of how you can play around with the different tool sets that are provided. Now there's also a high to how to guides and this section basically provides you different like detailed instructions on achieving specific tasks. For example, you can get a better idea of how to convert a hugging face transformer model to a TensorFlow, which is one of the frameworks that are provided with this transformer agent. Now, this is something that it gives you a step-by-step -step tool or idea on how you can do so. And you can also get conceptual guides, philosophy glossary, as well as what the actual hugging face transformers can do. So these are some of the actual other like ideas as well as like guides on what you can do with its conceptual guides and finally you have the api section which is describing all classes of functions as well as libraries now the main classes are sections are provided with detail on the most important classes such as like uh, configuration model sizes tokenization as well as its pipeline and these are some of the things that you can check out on this interface on this website right here now, you might be wondering, what can you actually use this Transformer Agent project? And it basically, we talked about some of the things that it does, but what can you actually do with it? Well, there are some things that this project is going to be very helpful for. And one of them is its training in terms of its fine tuning pre-trained models and how you can utilize this. Now, the project basically provides a wide range of pre-trained models. And this is something I forgot to show you at the start you get the ability to like utilize these different supported models and i believe there's over a hundred yeah, maybe it might be even 200 you have 202 
And these are supportive frameworks that you can utilize and you can fine tune these models on your specific data sets and it will help you achieve high performance for specific tasks. Now you can get a better idea of this on their website and which one you can utilize. So I highly recommend that you check this out and I'll leave this link in the description below so you get a better idea of what you can use as well as support with this different models. Now from this you're able to build custom models. You can build your own custom model using projects like the projects API as well as the tools that are provided with Hugging Face and you're able to create models that are tailored for your own specific needs. You're able to use models for inferences. Once you have trained your own model or fine-tuned the model, you can use it to make a specific prediction on your own data set. Now from this you can build multi-modal models and this project is able to do that by supporting the multi-modal like models that can be able to process text images videos audios as well as other types of like data sets simultaneously and from this you're also able to get the chance to export the models and you can do this by using formats like TorScript for deployment in production environments and these are some of the use cases that you can get out of this actual application guys and this is one of the great things about this new transformer agent project that hugging face released now let's actually get a chance to play around with it on the hugging face now i'm going to be showing you some of the things that you can utilize this project for and get a better idea of how you can run this on the actual google collab so i'll leave this link in the description below first things first you should copy this into your own drive so that you can utilize it with your own gpu uh, you want to connect it so make sure you click this button and what you want to do is start downloading and setting up the, the installation for the transformer agents and you can do legit anything you want with this and you can utilize different agents in this case you can utilize the open api or you can either use star coder or the open assistant and obviously these two will require a hugging face token but in this case if you're utilizing open ai which is the large their large uh, language model you will need to require to show your own API key. Now, in this case, you would have to install this. And once this is done, you can start using the agent. Now you can utilize this to do a lot of different things on Google Colab by like fine tuning pre-trained models. It actually provides a free GPU like with Google Colab in which you can use to fine tune pre-trained models for your own data. And with the actual transform agent, you can easily download and load the pre-trained models like BERT as well as GPT-3. And you can actually do this by downloading it onto your Google Drive. So that's one great thing that you can do. In this case, you're able to utilize as well as generate image of a boat in the water. And you can do this by clicking yes, and it will give you this actual image, which is quite pretty cool. Obviously, you're not going to get the best generated response, but you can play around with it and tweak it so that you can get the best generated text and images with it. And you can even write a short story about a detective solving a mystery, for example, and you'll be able to get something like that. Now, you're also able to perform audio and video tasks. Now, I never really played around with that yet, but you're able to get something like that. Uh, in this case, if you like to have hands on objects or previous results to the agent, you can do so by passing a variable directly. So after you generate this, you can even pass down another variable that will basically adjust this image. And that's one amazing thing that you can do. And another thing is you can also get an audio generative response of this which is awesome. And it actually does this by giving you this audio generated response from this caption. Hugging face is an I community building the future. Oh my God. I, I never knew that you can even do this on Google Colab, which is awesome because you can play around with this and do a lot of different things. I believe you can even summarize different checks, have a chat mode, which you can talk to the actual images as well as the actual objects of what you're trying to utilize you're able to do a lot of different things guys and this is one of the great things as well as the tools that they provide here's a little summary of what you can access with their google collab tools and i highly recommend that you play around with this as there's a lot of things you can do with it so i hope you found this video quite informative as to this new project of hugging face transformer agents so with that thought guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please like this video subscribe and comment anything you want to see in the future and with that thought i'll see you guys next time have an amazing day have a positive smile and spread positivity and with that thought i'll see you soon peace out fellas